Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Um, this video is going to be on my fancy new camera and a fancy mic, so I hope it sounds better than it usually does, and I hope it looks better visually than it usually does. We're gonna find out. So today's video is going to be a bit of a different one um, from my usual pagan-esque things. Uh, if you're a guy, you may not like the topic of this video. If you're a lady, you may not like the topic of this video, but whatever. <laughs> Honestly, it's very important to me, so I kind of wanted to talk about my journey going braless and how that went for me and then kind of where I'm at now with it. So I started sort of my braless journey around, I want to say the age of 18 or 19. Um, primarily, well, there are a couple reasons why. But the main reason was because I felt like it wasn't fair for me to not be able to just be free without a thing kind of constricted around me to hold my boobs up, right? <laughs> um, yeah, it was just kind of irritating to live through that every day. And especially, I think what really helped as well is that I was already out of school. So at that point it was like, well now what do I want to do with my life and who am I and what do I kind of stand for, I guess. I started getting a lot into the idea of being a strong woman and being independent, um, realizing the ways that women have been oppressed in a sense, and just kind of going and bouncing off my struggles with all of that. What I kind of started doing was looking up videos of people going braless and kind of how they did it, how they made it easier for themselves to do it so you don't get like made fun of or whatever. Um, because that was something that was important to me at the time. I didn't want to be super embarrassed for one doing it. <laughs> um, because it is, it can be quite embarrassing and scary at first when you're going through all of this, uh, trying to figure out how to go braless and if there's like appropriate times to be braless, um, <laughs> all sorts of things, I guess. Yeah, so I ended up finding a video from Hey KL, and I'll leave that video down below because it has amazing tips for going braless if you're going braless for the first time or if you're just looking for more tips on it. I will leave that video down below because it's amazing. Yeah, so I found that video and I was like, yeah, like she, KL really gave me back my almost women, womanly strength, if you will. Um, the excitement of being a woman and that it's okay to have nipples <laughs> and even if they show, like, it's not that big of a deal. Um, and people make it a big deal and it's so silly because every woman, every person has nipples, <laughs> everybody has a chest, um, ours just kind of gets more sexualized and that really sucks because we can't really wear as much things without getting made fun of or what have you. It's just frustrating. Me personally, I grew up having smaller boobs so that was already very embarrassing when you're kind of growing up and you see girls around you getting, um, developing faster, I guess, and feeling like you're left out in a sense. And then when you do get boobs, <laughs> it's like a different ball game entirely because then it becomes about how, how sexualized you are or how sexy you are compared to your boob size or your butt size or whatever. Yeah, so moving on from that topic of like why I started going braless, uh, let's kind of hop into my experiences with it. Um, I'm gonna first of all talk about bras, <laughs> my experiences with them and why I kind of hate them a lot. So for me, the only kind of bras I will wear now have to be like kind of, I guess, clothy. If that makes sense, I hate wires in bras. Um, for my men watching on here, you may not know this, but when you wear a wire pat like underneath and then like the padding, the wire after a couple of washes or so will start to poke out and be really irritating and it will poke against you. Um, so I don't wear wire bras ever anymore. I refuse to. It was so annoying to have to wear them. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I don't really wear that much padding on my bras anymore. You know, like the, they have like the extra padding to make your boobs look more bigger. I don't wear those anymore either just because I got tired of trying to fake who I am. 
I think since I was interested in dating back in the day, you know, like school time, everybody kind of is. Since I was interested in dating, that was more of a bigger issue then. Um, and I wanted to be more out there with that kind of thing. But now it seems ridiculous, I guess, since I'm growing into who I am and I don't care anymore. Also, one of my biggest struggles with wearing bras is whenever you first start wearing them, you, since your body's not used to it when you're younger, um, you're putting like this thing on you and the, the bottom of the strap, or not the strap, the, um, this bottom part right here that's supposed to like hold, uh, be elastic, I guess. It irritated my skin really bad whenever I first started wearing bras. Um, and I remember at least the first week or two of me first wearing them was very difficult because it was really itchy underneath like my actual boobs it, because you're like boob sweat during the day too so that adds on top of it um but I started getting really bad rashes and I remember my mom being like oh yeah it's fine that's what happens when you first start wearing them and then it goes away because you start wearing them more often which was true <laughs> but the idea of like the fact that you know the rash happened in general really sucked um and then getting off of them as well Getting off of bras was really difficult and kind of a weird transition the first week or so. Just because you're getting used to, like, uh, with the bra, it kind of picks your boobs up and everything and it holds them in place. So you start to get used to your normal, like, boobs and how they hang. And that can be really difficult whenever you're used to them being looking, like, I guess, perky, if you will, and, like, all pushed up and... That's not how natural boobs are, so sorry about it. <laughs> Going through that transition phase was really interesting, and I took it slowly. Um, so if you're thinking about going braless, I would recommend taking it slowly. Don't force yourself all at once to do it. Obviously, you don't have to do that if you don't want to go braless. Like, you don't have to go braless. It's not a thing to be a woman or whatever. But personally, I think it's more freeing. Um, it helps you build confidence in a way. It's getting used to your own body. Uh, besides all that, it's just always been so irritating that men can just kind of throw on a shirt and if their nipples happen to poke through their shirt or whatever, it's not that big of a deal because it's a man. But boy howdy, if my woman nipple shows right through my shirt, somebody's gonna have some shit to say about it, right? Like, we can't just have our bodies and have them show through our clothes. It's inappropriate. No. <laughs> no, no, no. No. Not only that, but like women's cleavage too is really sexualized. Like if somebody sees your, like a certain amount of your cleavage, it gets to be like uncomfortable for people. And I think that's really funny too. Like if someone sees a man's chest or something, or if he has like his shirt off or whatever, it's not like automatically, you know, oh, freak out moment or whatever. But, you know, compared to like a woman, if a woman's wearing a tank top and it hangs a certain amount low, people freak out over her cleavage too. I mean, it's just ridiculous what us women have to fucking go through. But I digress. With the beginning of my journey, kind of how I started doing things uh, to kind of get myself comfortable with going braless was I would wear double shirts. So like I would wear a tank top under my shirt um, and, you know, then have my regular shirt over so you can't really see the nipple through the t-shirt. Um, but it kind of helps you getting used to that freeing feeling to just, like, be braless in general. And then, um, it's not as awkward. Like, yes, obviously your boobs are gonna hang lower than they will with a bra, but that's what they're supposed to do. So, you know. Another kind of helpful thing you can do if you're going braless is to use bralettes instead. Those are super cute and uh, kind of in trend right now as well anyways. So if you wear bralettes, I mean, they're not necessarily bras, but they're similar to them. And you can also have kind of a cute accessory underneath your shirt. And most people are pretty chill with that nowadays. The next thing that I have used is, um, what are they called? Like pasties? I think that's the name for them. So mine, I got from Target. I'll show you them. They're like little silicone flowers. Um, they're super soft. And they have a sticky edge on this side. So you stick this, this part right here, on your nip. And that, it has like a, 
a layer over it so you can't see the nipple through it. So you'd place it on your nip. <laughs> and these honestly have worked miracles for me. I love them so much. So if I do happen to have a day where my nipples are super poking out and super cray cray, I'll just stick that bad boy on there and it's not as big of a deal for me. So if you don't, like if you want to go braless but you're worried about your nipples poking through your shirt, you can use those and that's definitely helpful. Um, you can also wear baggy shirts. I think I have one here. Baggy t-shirts or whatever, or like oversized t-shirts, uh, especially if they're black because black kind of hides the shadows and everything. Or if you have t-shirts with um, a lot of patterns going on, that can kind of distract the eye from looking for the nipple in the shirt, if you will. Uh, KL talks a lot about that in her video. Like I said, you should definitely check that one out because it's amazing. Uh, t-shirts with pockets on the front, like this one. If you have a pocket, that kind of adds another layer over so you can't see as much. I think also in the video, KL um, had a ruffle shirt. That can work to hide as well. Um, whatever helps. Any extra layers always help to hide the nip. So um, right now in my life, I am not braless 24 seven, but I would say I'm braless a good 70% to 80% of the time now, um, which is good for me. I don't go braless at work um, and it's not necessarily because it'd be awkward in front of coworkers or anything like that. I used to do it at work, uh, but when I did work at Target, I started going through this transition phase, uh, trying to go braless, and I was lifting items, and I hurt my boob really bad. <laughs> so if you're working and lifting things, you might want that bra for extra protection, because if you have sensitive nipples um, or boobs that day, you will hurt yourself really badly. So that's why I personally, when I go to work, I wear a bra, um, just so I don't hurt myself. But yeah, to each their own, it uh, doesn't really matter. Besides that, I do sleep every single night without a bra on because it's more comfortable that way. And most of the time around the house, I go braless just cause I don't give a shit. Um, or if I'm going out and I just feel like not wearing a bra, I won't. Um, it really depends on each and every person to how much they want to wear a bra and, or how much they don't. I just wanted to kind of share my experiences with that and then also ask some of you ladies out here if uh, any of you guys are going braless currently and what your experience has been like in doing that. Um, if you haven't gone braless, have you thought about going braless or do you plan on going braless? Uh, what are your thoughts on the whole situation um, or does it make you uncomfortable? anything as long as it's a respectful conversation <laughs> thank you guys so much i know this is kind of an out there video for me but i want to be posting more personal videos like this anyways so yeah let me know what you think down below until then i will see you guys in the next video much love and goodbye